Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Brandon. And it's time for a new movie review. Today, we're going to talk about the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, which is getting an incredibly limited release, uh, like 15, 20 theaters total are showing this film, and they're all hand-selected by James Rolfe. Uh, this is uh, kind of a weird thing for me, a uh, really strange thing to review. Uh, we actually uh, drove all the way to St. Louis to see this movie, and we just got back just now, like like minutes ago. Yeah. And uh, we, of course, we saw, we saw the movie last night. We just got back from our trip. I took Brandon along, and did you have a good time? I had a great time. We had it was a really a wonderful fun trip. trip. Yeah, and uh, we lots of cool things happened. Uh, we actually just got to even add another store to the Midwest and panels. More about that Exciting. later. Exciting. Really neat, neat trip. And uh, we went to the Clayton area where there was this. It's a wonderful uh, Trivoli theater there, and uh, first of all, one of the prettiest movie theaters I've ever been It's to. a vintage uh, historic theater, and they really kept it that way. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I love that the seating is still like that. You know, they've got the... And the cloth curtain they've got in the front cloth of the screen curtain. and the chandeliers. Uh-huh, and like the balconies. The vignettes. And yeah, it's really neat. And so uh, what a weird movie to see and in that setting. I was I was ready for a ballet or an all opera. The, all the old movie posters and the old action figures of like the people in these movies. Yeah, well, so cool. uh, yeah, they're, they're, they had some they had some stuff for for, uh, for some of the old horror films, yeah. Yeah. And uh, anyway, and it's also a fun, a fun kind of theater because it's like full service so like you can you can uh, uh, and, and and reasonably priced too especially for a movie theater uh, where where you know you can you can uh, drink beer while you watch movie and and uh, stuff like that um, they should have sold Rollin rock because they would <laughs> you know it's AVGN they, they would have uh, they would have made a mint on Rollin rock that night killed it <laughs> but Anyway, so um, Angry Video Game Nerd is a guilty pleasure for me. It's something that I haven't talked about that much on the channel. Uh, I only broached it even uh, recently, the last the last few months. When when the um, or, or or just this year, like when the um, when the game came out, the AVGM video game came out. Um, I had to recommend it on recommends because uh, I thought it was a really fun platformer, and uh, a lot of people were like, "Wow, Cap, really? You watch AVGM? That doesn't seem like you're kind of bad." Well, huh. here's the thing. Uh, there's 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 a lot of raunchy humor with that show and things like that. Um, there, there's there's some potty stuff. There's some there's there's some language. There's some stuff I don't like naturally, and it took me a while to warm up to it. But I think James Rolfe is quite clever. Uh, I like a lot of his comedy, mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm able to look past some of that because I enjoy his style and because I do think I share some of his sensibilities. Um, mostly just growing up the same period he did. Uh, I like a lot of the same kinds of video games he likes, um, and I'm a big 8-bit eight, eight and 16-bit boff. Yeah, and you had lots of the same system systems he has. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, when he's talking about, the thing that really won me over was when he started talking about 32X, Sega CD, uh, and, and and that and that kind of stuff. Um, things that I was, I felt like I was one of ten people uh, that I've ever met that had that stuff. And, yeah. Um, or maybe maybe ten people at, at all. And and so... Um, he's one like, of you. He one really of you kinda, ten. He really kind of, he really kind of won me over with some of that stuff. And like I said, I've been able to look sort of past some of the raunchy stuff. Well, uh, the trailer for the movie came out a couple years ago. And uh, this being a low-budget independent thing that has no endorsement, no backing of any kind whatsoever, it takes a lot longer to get it done and get it made. So, uh, the, the trailer said coming this lifetime. Like, they had no <laughs> yeah. idea when, when, when they were going to be able to get the thing out and I, I I saw the first trailer and uh, when it when it first came out and was like this looks like there might be something to it like there might actually be like a a story in this really silly farcical thing and uh, I was just really excited about it it, it, mm -hmm. it looked like a lot of fun and um, and uh, my wife and I saw the trailer and we were like oh this looks like fun and um, it's taken this long to finally come out it finally came out and I said you know if it comes to a theater close, I'm going to try to go if I can. And uh, for a while there, it didn't look like they were going to get a Midwest release at all, um, uh, showing at all. And hmm. finally, the they, uh, they, the the only Midwest thing besides Chicago, Chicago's close to Midwest. There was one in Chicago. Um, I, I didn't have time to go that far. And then they had one uh, finally in, in St. Louis. And I went, yeah, I'll drive to St. Louis for it. So I invited Brandon. He came with us. He came with me. And uh, we went and saw the AVGN movie. So we're not going to spoil too much because because this is, like I said, a super limited release. The DVD is going to come out in a few months. 
a couple months. I'm not sure when exactly that's happening, but at least by Christmas, it seems like it probably will, 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 will come out. And so um, people are going to be able to see it pretty soon, but this is not a thing that we can recommend you go out to the theater and see because everything's sold out now and you're probably not going to get yeah. to go now unless in, unless he puts up some more dates and um anyway so i got uh, super lucky to get to go yeah i mean it was really cool and the crowd was fun because mm -hmm. you know we all kind of like this thing and 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 uh like like you know we, we got we got all the in jokes if we've been watching this and stuff Kat, you I got made, me I, into this well i made brandon binge watch a bunch of it yeah it was great he he, he died i hadn't seen any for a while since the last time you told me about it and i went i looked at some of his stuff i i do like his sensibilities he's got a, a lot of good things to say so i'm not gonna call myself a mega fan it's not like my favorite thing in the world there's stuff no. i don't like but i like him he's a neat he's guy he's very real too I, yeah i look at his other stuff and his behind, behind the scenes thing and i gotta say this real quick before we review it avg angry video game nerd is a thing and james rolf is a thing and you can see a lot of james rolf obviously in his character in his nerd character but what he's doing is a parody review show yeah. he's he's making fun of games and he makes good points and he says some stuff but it, the ne the being super negative all the time thing is a joke yeah he he's not looking at that is objective reviewing. He gets the difference. Now, I think some people do not get the difference. I think some people that watch him don't get the difference. Um, I think that happens. Um, I don't think it's his fault. But uh, you look at some of his other things. He's done real reviews. He's a, he's a decent reviewer. Um, he's uh, he's a, he's a smart guy. I like him a lot, and uh, I felt the need to go and support it. I I thought I, I thought uh, it looked really fun. And now we're going to talk about it. So uh, Brandon, well, let, let me say first, real briefly, um, the the plot of the thing. And I, I don't want to go any farther than the trailer, really. Sure. Um, but the plot of thing in case you uh, I haven't seen the trailer um, is basically that uh, the it's it's about the ET game uh, which by the way is hilarious because for copyright reasons they have to spell it differently uh, there's a lot of that uh, in the movie and they kind of play that up for hilarious they couldn't, comedy they couldn't buy the use of the copyright yeah and they and they they play that up for ridiculous hilarious comedy and and uh, so like it, it doesn't you don't feel cheated it's funny and so anyway um the, what 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 happens is uh, he the the uh, angry video game nerd uh, doesn't think that the ET game really the, the Atari games really got buried um, in around area 51 as was alleged and um, so uh, he and a crew go out uh, to uh, scope it out and see if they're really there because he wants to prove that they're not so that people will leave him alone about reviewing it and he doesn't want to ever have to review the thing and his big thing is um, I don't want to every time I review something no matter how bad it is people play it and I don't want to encourage people to play a horrible game uh, especially this horrible game because he has very personal reasons for not wanting to have to relive that and for not wanting the world to have to, to, have to yeah. see it again and uh, then comes the uh, crazy general with one arm and wackiness ensues so Brandon <laughs> uh, how did you feel about the AVGN movie this movie made me feel like I somehow now understood the severe angst that AVGN feels towards ET even though I've never played it but now I have closure that's how this movie made me feel cool. I uh, would say that there were several there were oh many 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 great things about this movie but first I'm gonna get the dislike out of the way sure my one dislike of this movie was that the what you could call the love story did not go the way I think it, it went a totally different direction than I thought it was going to and then I thought it should have gone I'll just say that that was my negative about this uh, the production styles on this were true to AVGN and that's what one of the things that I loved and he play, he does play that up for immense laughs yeah. and some of the things that he says oh we were laughing out loud on these yeah, things sure. and it, it was just great uh I also expected a non-cohesive storyline. So did I. Or we, more so than we got. Yeah, yeah. we actually got the, the a story that the, flowed. It's important, let me mention, it's important to mention that the negative Brandon just gave, it's amazing you can look at it even on that level. I know, right? You know what I mean? That, because that was one of the most interesting things. There really is a story. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a farce. Yes. It is that kind of movie. But it's more... <clears throat> it's more on the level of, well, I don't even say space balls. I think it's even less farcical than space balls. Like, like because because there's a lot of incoherent nonsense that that's, happens that's in that movie. That's true. This movie has an internal logic. Yeah. There's a lot of ridiculous, but it, it has a bit of internal logic. I was really surprised. I expected more of a naked gun thing. It actually thing. flows. Not like that. It, yeah. it flows from one thing to the next, and that, that was really nice. You know, uh, obviously, uh, AVGN, usually his episodes are based around the beginning of the review to the meat of the review to the end of the review. 
and telling you his dislike of these terrible games. And then occasionally silly characters will break in with right. no explanation, and it's nonsensical. This wasn't like that. I mean, th there's, there's some things that if you took them out of context, would be completely bogus, but they, they work in the flow of the movie. I will say there's some fourth wall breaking stuff that there's no explanation for. That, that, that's true. That's the, and I'm not complaining about it, I'm just saying that is the one big nonsensical thing, is that there are places where the characters know they're in a movie. But it flowed, and I loved the props, and I loved the, yeah. I actually loved the storyline on this, and it was not what I was expecting. And I was a little surprised by it. it, it there was, there, they, they were able to hit me with some things I didn't expect. Yeah. But uh, I'm saying, I, I'm feeling it. Unfortunately, I can't recommend it for the movie theater, being that it's such the well, release you can if they put it out in some more if places, they yeah. do if it get if it gets like if it's good enough to be you know cult put out whatever go see it get it on whatever it's released on uh brandon this movie made me feel bummed that it didn't get a wider release so i could go see it a second time ah, uh, that, yes. that was that was my big thing is that i left the theater and i, and I want to see it again too and i said uh i gotta wait now like i gotta <laughs> yeah. wait to see it again and and that's the best praise i can give it i, I want to find the little things i missed i'm sure there was a few i had so much fun watching this it's so silly it's so goofy but then there's a story and i was really surprised by that um avgn is kind of a sympathetic character uh, and, <laughs> yeah. I, and i really enjoyed that they went that way with it he played it that way it was really it is i should mention that it is not what the trailer made me think it was exactly it's better than that probably on purpose and i like it i love that uh one of the things that i really that i really got from the trailer was that uh the whole business with uh the the general like seeing that they're on area 51 and they're talking about et the way the trailer plays it up it really feels like it is some kind of a miscommunication mm -hmm. that or misunderstanding where it's like i i i avgn is talking about a game and they think he's talking about aliens and so they kid nap him and it's a big it's not like that actually it's 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 more involved than it's that it's very much more and involved. i won't go in, into it any more than that but that is really cool it's uh, classified it is of course uh, a, a really low budget movie and yet i think it is less low budget than it pretends to be i really yeah. do the production values are quite good for for what the thing is and um I, I should mention that like the photography is really good the directing is quite i mean i mean james rolf is a decent director uh for this kind of thing uh he does i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna bring this down to brass tacks he does a really good job of um of, of like establishing locations and making sure you know where where, where you are i mean it's a competently made movie and, and i think it's important but i think it's important to mention that such a sorry i think it's important to mention that such a small time kind of movie i mean it is a b movie major yeah. majorly a b movie although the lines are being blurred now when somebody like him can become that famous making stuff in his basement yeah. um the, the, but it's i think it's important to mention production value because or, 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 or mention that it is competently directed because sometimes things like this of course just just aren't they, they wouldn't they don't they don't have to be um there's no kind of oversight the lack of oversight helps this movie because he can do any crazy nutso thing he wants to that's right there are several visual jokes in this as well as verbal jokes that you some some things that I got that I'm sure other people would have gotten had they really thought about it you know th there were some things that we got that other people didn't get yeah and vice versa but uh, I loved I loved the combination of all these things coming together to make this one there is a there, there there's there's a lot of model work there's a lot of practical effects uh that's one of the things that that, that rolf talked a lot about making it that he really wanted to do it that way and practical uh, effects are the way to go well the thing about it is and I, I don't think that's always the case of course and the thing is there's a lot of stuff that looks really fake in this and on purpose you can yes. tell they're trying to make it and look it's faker. wonderful then I think they even would have to like I think they are I think this team like this team made me believe that they could make stuff that looked less fake than what they made yeah. there are scenes where because they are parroting B movies and they're parroting everything yeah. because it's a parody of B movies there are places where like there's green screen stuff that looks terrible on purpose I'm, yeah. I'm convinced oh, abso well that absolutely yeah, yeah, I'm convinced that they're going yeah we want it to look as low budget and that's as one of possible. the funniest things it, well it's and bad they do green a, screen and they do a, yeah and they do a, they do a wonderful job of making of, of making sure you know throughout the film that they're doing that kind of stuff on purpose like I never believe that stuff like that is a mistake which is cool yeah. um, the acting is really good uh, the supporting cast is fantastic I was really surprised that I liked those characters oh, yeah. um, with both of the major supporting characters I wasn't real sure about how I felt with where they were at the end or whether they did enough with uh, the the kid that uh, films him Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure by the end that I, that, that, that they did quite enough with that guy because there were a couple of, 
um, cool little things in his character. I mean, I can't believe I'm talking about it on, the, on this level. There were a couple of little cool things with his character, like he's afraid of taking risks yeah. and stuff like that. I, I wasn't sure that ever went far enough. Well, but that, that's not a big deal. That was the um, that was the thing though. Like he started out that way, and then the very end, he gets what little character development he has. Yeah, and maybe that's okay. that was on and, purpose and though. And that kind of stuff's on purpose. Yeah, I mean, like like you can sort of look at it on that level, but you can't go too far with it because right. it is a big farce. But I'm just saying, I was surprised it was a story, and that I like <laughs> yeah. you know, like where the story went. Uh, the bad guys. Excuse me. The bad guy is hilarious. Uh, he 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 does he does a wonderful job. And um, there's a lot of cool cameos. Uh, not just um, YouTube people cameos. Though there's tons of that. But there's other cool cameos for uh, you know AVG and fans. Uh, people that know that stuff. Um, I won't tell you who, but there's certain people you've seen that will pop in. Yeah, I'd um, say don't research this movie before you see this movie. You don't research the movie because there's a couple of things where when you see the cast list, it's going to give away too much. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. Um, I think I think also that he did a really good job of making sure that people that have never watched watched an EVGN episode would enjoy the film. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know that those people any, are going to accessible. watch it, but it's very accessible. And there's a couple of big in-jokes that they give mm -hmm. context for in the movie, which actually, me, me knowing this stuff, I found slightly irritating watching it, and I had to remind myself, but then other people can watch it. Yes, and absolutely. And that made it okay. But I still, um, I still thought it worked, because the, oh, background, yeah, yeah, yeah. the background of the context is his reviews. Yeah. And that works. Um, it comes it, together. It, it coalesces. It's a, it's a good love letter to his fans. Yeah. Uh, that that's that's a big thing. Um, I haven't flipped my sign yet, um, but I might. <laughs> feeling, um, but but yeah, it's it's a it's a big love letter to his fans. But also, there's just so much love and care put into this project. Like they really wanted it to make to to make it the the coolest and most fun thing they possibly could, and it's so entertaining. The other thing I want to say real quick. Yes. Um, this is my last big thing. Is that um I really enjoyed some of the satire in this movie. Yes. Um, there, that, there's there's a, there's a lot of like was that what you were gonna say? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, there, there's a, there's there's a few, and it's not heavy hitting. It's not heavy handed. It's not that kind of movie. Um, um, and again, it's, it's a but goofy they make farce. some well placed jabs. I really like um, the stuff about the video game industry itself. That's what uh, I was gonna say. That yeah. stuff is really funny, and he makes some really nice jabs that I totally appreciate. Um, and then, of course, you especially as I, yeah, and then and then of course, as I said, um, stuff just about the. Um, just about these kinds of movies, you know, you get you get gags like uh, "Why are all these boxes here?" and stuff like that. And that <laughs> yeah. was in the trailer, but you know, you know that was a, so but funny. There's a lot of that kind of stuff where where um it's it's this it's like this this I guess I said internal logic, but it's like internal logic of a B movie. It's like this nonsensical stuff is here because it's a B movie and it has to yeah. be. Yeah, that's hilarious. Um, I could go on, but I I I, I just I just want to say that if you are a fan of Really preposterous B movies. If you like B movies, you like anything Asylum. And if and, and if you're cool, no, because this is like way above that in quality. It's yeah, so it much is. fun. I mean, like 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 like. But it's fun. It, it's fun. The script is solid. I mean, like yes. like like. There's a lot of just really good comedy writing in this. Um, and if you like stuff like that, um, you you should watch this even if you're not an AVGN fan. I should also say that um, there is some some of that raunchy humor in it, but I don't think it ever goes too far. Uh, yeah. I expected it to go much farther than it went, and it it's never not just at the right spot. It never crosses the line too far for me, and I don't think it goes. It's not like South Park. It doesn't go farther than the show ever would, it, like the like like the like the original movie did. Um, or at least I've been told that. I've been told that the South Park movie went farther than the show did at that time. Um, it, th hmm. this this movie doesn't have that problem. I'll have to think about um, that. I don't know if that was a problem for South Park fans, but I'm just saying that, that, that this movie doesn't do that. So, like, <laughs> if you're comfortable with that show, you'd be comfortable with the film. What else right. did you want to bring up that I didn't talk about? Uh, that that was basically it. The the satire against, like, the video game industry mm -hmm. and specifically what you appreciated the most, that was the thing I was going to... Like, you appreciated, above anybody I know, you appreciated at least that specific right. joke. Right, right. That was great. Uh, anything else? Good. Uh, no, uh, I, <laughs> just I'm feeling it. Totally. Really fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it when it comes out. Um, I, I this is gonna sound funny to say that. I can't wait to show it to my wife. She she's gonna she's gonna love this. Be it's so absurd. Yeah. There'll be any special features. Oh yeah, there'll be a lot. <laughs> that would be great. Though, yeah, there'll be a lot. I mean, and, great. and he puts out a lot of stuff, a lot of special features for his normal videos. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So um, I'm glad we had such a good time with it because we had to drive to go see it, and wouldn't it wouldn't it have been a bummer and, if it wasn't great? And but, that uh, trip just made the, made the cake. Yeah, right there. it was it was wonderful. Well, anyway, thanks as always for watching. We sure appreciate it, and uh, we will try to bring you another movie review uh, as shortly as humanly possible. I am Captain Logan, and I'm Brandon. We'll see you again very soon. Do 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 do